continuation video two advanced options user password is one 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 and then you confirm then you get into the advanced mode for users I highly encourage you to export a configuration to a folder that you can find in order, in case you can put the barcode for your machine and also export the parameters and put the barcode of your machine and save and check in your folders if you have successfully saved your backup firmware and parameters in the event the you lose your way you've got an option to reverse right so in the advanced mode i'd like to talk about a few features on motor on the first tab for motor x motor x is the one that also has your carriage that runs your carriage left and right and also there's two motors the other one is running the ink stack right on the ink stack on spot parameters here add reduce distance this value here is the distance that allows you to increase the height of your cap to seal the printed or reduce the caps down to free your printed so if you increase the value you are increasing uh, give me a second gentlemen all right continuation so I'm just going to speak on the edge juice distance here yeah, to increase the capping, right? And then we're going to move to the ink stack. At the ink stack, this edge juice distance allows you to raise your wiper up and down if you increase or decrease the value. The speed of the ink stack on how it spins going down and spins going up to reset wetting the ink stack height is the height of the capping when it's pulling ink during cleaning pump the ink stack height is the height of the cap when it's draining uh the inks and flush the ink stack height is the height when it's about to go to print and then it does that uh flash and then scrap the ink stack ink stack height is the height it puts the cap when it's draining so whenever you change these values you need to confirm or go to file and save right the next option i'd like to talk about right when you go to clean the cleaning mode is closed clean flash uh, doesn't allow you to run a pump cycle with the head closed so rather keep it on close the head layout is the number of heads when it's running and clean the clean reset time, the default one is 10, right? But I've reduced that time so that each time when it's moving to the next action, it doesn't take too long and leaving the heads exposed for too long. So I've reduces, reduced the number of pass or the number of seconds that it stays uh, in operation between the two options. From there, let's move over to manual clean. On manual clean, I've set my clean week parameters to pump two times. 
at 50% of the original value and 50% of the wait time pumping ink finish. So this is the time it takes on the pumping intake time. This is the time it takes pulling from the head two times. So it runs the first sequence entirely and then comes back and runs the second sequence. So wait time pumping ink finish is the time it takes to drain that ink that it had put the first time to the waste portal. And then pumping useless ink time is the time it will take to complete the draining and closing the heads with the caps. So on my normal clean, I've increased the pumping three times and did the same deduction of 50% of the default values already there. And same applies to my strong cleaning. So I would consider this if, let's say, if it was a large format fast color printer, XP600. On a weak clean would be my nozzle clean, my automatic clean, nozzle clean. And normal clean would be my inking plus wipe nozzle. And then my strong clean would be my manual pump plus wipe nozzle. Right. So my strong clean will be my manual pump, which will pump longer and dumps the ink uh, with more time and does a wipe nozzle. So it goes over about four times the cleaning cycle. This will be able to uh, uh, correctly flush out all old inks in the head and replace with new fresh ink and also helping me to open up my nozzles more. Right. So from there, I would like to skip all these other functions and then move to the other tab. Right. On color potency, remember in the first video, right, let's just recap on adjust. Here, on the concentration, weak, normal, and strong. And also on the ink to deepen, we've got mod one, two, and three. Inclusion, we've got light, normal, depth, and enclosure. So let's go back. Right? One, two, three, one, two, three. And then we in and go back to other. So on other, you notice that the weak potency of the inks, default was 30%. So I increased the, that by 10% because already the ICC, uh, when you are doing um, single CMYK, it's, it prints about 15% of the inks. And when, when you do CMYK two bits, that's 30% of the inks. And then when you do three levels, that's about 45% of the inks dropping down on 720 DPI. So, these are more like uh, spatula, teaspoon, and tablespoon, if you want to consider it in T language terms. So color potency on the wick would be my concentration on wick. It will drop down about 40% of what the ICC is giving. And then color potency middle, which is my concentration normal, will be giving color potency of 70% of what the ICC is giving. So there's no more need uh, for you. If you increase your color potency, there's no more need for you to save a pre rip file and then get into Austin Soft and then now increase the polypoid, uh, polypoidy ink levels in the task setting of Austin Soft in your print tab where you are now increasing individually to say you want two levels of uh, color, two levels of white, and three levels of varnish. When you increase these percentages, the ICC would have been given an extra boost to put down more inks. So your color potency strong would be your strong concentration on the color. A hundred percent, remember in the spot setting we spoke of earlier, um, our ink levels on the rip 
uh, raster image processing tab was set to 100%. So if you increase the concentration to 100%, and then your spot setting is also on 100%, and then your ICC is also set that value. So it means you are printing 100% exactly of what the ICC is giving. And to tell you honestly, it will be a bit of a thick layer of ink going down to the material. So maybe, maybe in the future, when maybe your head printed is tired and you may be only getting half the road nozzles out, you can increase this potency to use the other nozzles to put down more in to compensate on the others that are not working correctly. Right, so from these, these I'd like to speak safely on them. So when you are done, you can save that setting and then it saves successfully and you can either also export and export the parameter configuration and the firmware configuration and give it a new name uh, for you to keep a backup. And then if you're not too happy with it, you can also uh, change the settings or revert back to the default settings that you had before. So this is my little insight into the Hoson software. Thank you very much. I hope this will be uh, a lot more clearer.